So Drew Brees basically said that, you know, the NFL players who were kneeling in silent protests was uh, disrespecting the flag. And, you know, his, what was it, his grandfather or something was. Uh, father fought in World War II. So he, right. was, he, he cries and he thinks it's disrespectful if you don't stand to the, for the flag and raise your, put your hand over your chest. Right. Exactly. And isn't Drew Brees one of those players when the NFL was telling everybody they should be fired if they do it and the whole New Orleans Saints team came out and he took a knee with them? I'm yeah, pretty sure. Solidarity, but, then I, but then he said half, I think he said something like half of the, he, he was kneeling for half of the uh, anthem and then he stood up for the rest of them, some weird shit. Come on, man. Ain't no such, ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Ain't yeah. no such thing. So, <laughs> And so he 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 retracted that statement, right? Here's mm-hmm. another one, dude. Stand in your truth. And you know, it's, for him, it's harder than Trina because you play in a sport, you play in one of the blackest cities in the country. Those black fans in New Orleans, like, they will run through a, a wall for Drew Brees. You play with some outspoken brothers that they talk shit, they do podcasts, they do interviews, social media. Half his teammates they they shitted on them on a uh, on online after he so he he had the pressure, he had to say something. So I knew it was coming, but for him to shit, he should have said, "Hey, the way I said it might have been wrong. The timing was wrong." But no, he shouldn't have said anything. He should have said yes, no comment. The timing was wrong. Uh, Ed Reed called him a sucker. <laughs> he is a sucker because you played with all of these black men. You had ample uh, opportunities to make this statement back then when it was uh, a big deal. When and everybody, he did, I was about to say he made this statement. It's just people, and I, I, that's what I do. I hold his, his teammates accountable for that are still on the team now. He mm-hmm. said this shit basically in 2017. Hmm. What was the reaction then? Nobody so cared. No, they overlooked it. Yeah, and like you can see pictures of Drew Brees. He's a conservative. It's well known. You see pictures of him hanging out with Trump. He's he's a conservative. He's a he's a he's the average wealthy forty year old white man. And that's well, funny because because uh, yeah. Trump because Trump tried to uh, Trump called for a lack of better words he called Drew Brees a sucker for pulling back on his statement because Trump was <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> Trump. Um, I, I I have to get the the statement verbatim. I can't keep but, up with timeline. Trump's tweets be uh, I can't even keep up with all. Yeah, that nah, he right he now. be bugging. He be bugging. I'm. But it's I'm the truth though, because like I said, you are you are a sucker. Because why did you take? You should have just said, hey, the timing was wrong. And at first, I thought it was a bait question. Maybe he's doing an interview with Yahoo Finance, and they asked it. They didn't ask it. He just brought it up. I'm like, what are you thinking? Mm-hmm. And, and like I said, most of his teammates are black. Yeah, um, and that's the so that's the crazy part, right? So football is the one sport that is you know very physical, very abusive, all of that. And Drew Brees realized that solidarity is more important, or he should know. Damn, my supervisor calling me again. He should know that um, solidarity is more important in football than anything. Ultimately, what I'm saying is. Drew Brees should not be making these comments because those are the same guys that have to protect you on the line. Yeah. We've seen well, this time and time most again, right? Most of his offensive line guys are white. That's usually how it is in the NFL. The old linemen are usually a bunch of big white guys, maybe one or two token blacks. But the receivers, the guys he's throwing footballs to, yeah. most, of, you know, most of the guys who catches his touchdowns, they're black. Um, you know, the defense, like I say, look, it's – NFL and I watch the NFL. It's like it's institutionalized slavery in in sports, basically. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I've been saying that for years, and people call me crazy. And I watch it, and I'm saying that. And I was telling them, I was like, yeah, it's kind of hypocritical to me, but I watch it, and it is like a systematic slavery. It's a slavery driven type of system. The quarterbacks are white; they get all the glory, and but most of the people who do the dirty work in the trenches and do all of that other good shit, the, the guys who are fast and strong. They mm-hmm. black, bro. And that's why it's like 70% of the league is black. But the biggest stars are these white quarterbacks. And most of them have no – the fact that he could be in the NFL all these years, be around all these black men on a daily basis all these years, and he still is that disconnected from, like, black reality, that shit is crazy to me. Yeah. You know, the fact that you could be around that many black folks and still not have a clue. Of what's going on. Yeah, or, 
or not be smart enough to not say some stupid shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no insensitivity in his comments. Yeah. All right. So here's what Trump said. His um, Trump's uh, exact words to Drew Brees' statement. He said he should not have taken it. He should not have taken back his original stance on honoring our magnificent American flag. And he wrote um, the pair with with the other tweets. We should be, uh, these are Trump's tweet. He said, old glory is to be reverted, uh, revered, cherished, and flown high. He said, we should be standing up straight and tall, ideally with a salute or hand on the heart. There's no other things you can protest. There are, no, there are other things you can protest, but not our great American flag. In all caps, no kneeling. Come on now. Wow. He called him a sucker. For lack of better words, he said, use a sucker. Yeah. And, and they they friends, or they, they were, or they were like, you know. I'm sure they're still buddies. I'm sure they Because listen, all he got to do, donate to the Republican convention or whatever, send them a nice little check, and it's yeah. all like they're going to pat him on the back, like, oh, you know, next time don't speak on black issues, blah, 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 oh. whatever. And that's a good segue into something else, but I'll get into that. But yeah. Uh, Drew Brees is a sucker because you see a lot of um, companies got exposed to being Trump supporters, right? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. I did see that. But before we go to that, let's... Um...